Hello and welcome to uh, Graphic Productions. My name is Harvey. This is Fallout New Vegas here uh, with all the DLCs and all that kind of stuff. Um, unfortunately, I've had to skip the opening cutscene due to copyright issues. There's a bit of music uh, that we aren't allowed to mention or play, uh, otherwise YouTube gets mad. Um, so, and I doubt we'd be able to get the permission of the artist because he's dead. So, yeah. Um, plus also he was quite a big artist, all that kind of stuff, but we can't show it, so this is this, uh, and this is where we're going to start the game. Uh, basically all that happens is I get, like, your character gets shot in the face by uh, a nasty man, um, and then put in a hole and buried, basically. Uh, and he also steals a little thing you've been carrying around uh, for some courier service, uh, and then we start actually playing here, so yeah. This is going to be uh, sort of a little intro video to Fallout New Vegas to see what people think um, and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, so it's going to be about 25 minutes, a shorter session than normal, because I will be hopefully recording it in blocks and sort of moulding it all together and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, uh, but this is just going to be like a little opener of 25 minutes and all uploaded in one video, hopefully, uh, for you to have a look at and. You know, um, and see what you think. And then we'll start on with proper let's play. Um, so, you know, proper split up 10, 12 minutes I'm hoping to keep them down uh, and shorten them too. So, we'll see about that. Now, onto this. So, I've got my name. Um, and we have to edit everything about our character, what he looks like, the bigger tester over in the right hand side of the screen there. Do all my speckle skills, um, the little talk with Doc Mitchell about how mental I am and how much I like to kill people and stuff like that. Uh, and then we'll decide all my tag skills and, and then we'll get on with the um, first quest of the game. Uh, so I'd like to be male, I'd like to be Caucasian, Caucasian, or however you want to say it. I don't really care about this, so I'll just uh, randomise a few times. Pale, way too pale. That'll do. Oh, pardon me. Uh, just maybe about halfway. Hairstyle. We'll go the unsettler. Hmm. Sounds well good. Facial hair. We will go soul patch mates. It's got swag, yo. Uh, hair colour. Uh, I would say champagne is probably most likely. Say my hair was champagne colour, I'd just say it's brown or uh, a bit of blonde. So, right then, Doc Mitchell, let's get to it. Let's get me on my feet. Let's go. So, uh, this is a game I've played quite a bit. Um, I enjoy it quite a lot. I'll just talk to um, But yeah, I've played this quite a bit, really. Games, one of my favourite game series. I'd say Fallout 3 is just a little bit better because uh, the faction system can get a bit annoying on this game. Um, it being, like, a little bit dodgy. I mean, if you want to be friendly with someone, you can make someone else angry, um, which kind of makes sense, but then it gets a bit annoying that you can't really. Because all the different ones have different quest lines, but then if you complete the quest line, say, for the Caesar's region, you know exactly what you're doing, then NCR will get quite mad, you, um, and they will probably end up getting so mad that they'll try and kill you. Uh, and there's not much you can do to, to make them friends with you unless you decide to um, uh, kill. Anyway, um, you know, and, until you decide to go and kill the entire Caesar's Legion, you become friends. So it's a little bit, a little bit better. Than, uh, faction. System, but you know, uh, but then Fallout 3 has personal as well. But I am playing this because I got it in the same game I have, and it's a game I want to show to some of you. So that works, so it's a good game. Uh, dinner, uh,
try and do this as perfectly as I possibly can. So I think for this, what we do now is just set the process. It's a broken chain, chemical reaction, shadowing it off, using the room, and the two heavy elements. So it's a broken chain. Here we have ice and ice and bar. It's something to space age technology, the ship at sea, and I'm turning back to the uh, And then the last one is a light in the darkness, a bearded man, a mushroom cloud, and a head on a pillow. So I'll go a light in the darkness. That's all she wrote, apparently. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See, this is all the tag uh, skills and shiz, which I most of the time change anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference. I always normally go barter, speech, and repair, because I find they're the most useful skills for me. You know, I find a good gun that I like, I like to repair it, I like to keep it up um, and running so I can keep using it, you know what I mean? Uh, barter, it lets me. Your shoes are looking really weird, mate. Um, barter lets me spend uh, less money and sell things for more. Uh, and then speech lets me talk my way out of problems and all that kind of stuff. And you also need... Speech is probably the most common one because you need it for a lot of quest lines. Now those, I don't um, generally pick any because they're a little bit sort of it gives you good things but then also it gives you bad things at the same time so it'll give you a boost to agility during the day but then at night it'll give you um uh like a it'll deter your agility by more points or something like that you know um or like the more well rested you are the higher your strength will be but then if you go without sleeping your strength well, will lower by more you, you know that kind of thing it always seems the the bad thing is, is a little bit worse but you know anyway so i didn't really pick any of them the, the, the wild wasteland is the only one that doesn't really have any um bad things or good things about it it's just sort of it turns thing some situations a little bit weird uh, at times so you know never was much my style anyway Right. Uh, thanks for patching me up, Doc. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You, know, you should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave. Now, now. the Sunny Smiles thing, she I'm probably gonna just leave a little bit, um, because so all you do, she teaches you how to shoot. It's basically a tutorial. She teaches you how to shoot. To then she teaches you like how to sneak and shoot moving things, and then she teaches you a new mechanic that wasn't in any of the other Fallout's called Survival, which is like making your own food and concoctions and stuff like that, which I don't really get into. This is hardcore mode, it's like, um, it sort of adds a more realistic um, aspect to the game so that you can't really mend broken limbs, you um, have to go and see someone, uh, like, right away and stim packs go over time instead of instantly ammunition uh, has weight and like you have to drink water um, and also if you drink nuka cola and sarsaparilla which are like the sort of two main drinks on the game really especially sarsaparilla out here nuka cola was mainly in fallout 3 but you know sarsaparilla out here um that takes away dehydration and all that kind of stuff so it, it, it it's quite hard Ah, uh, this is all the DLC. So, Old World Blues, you've forgotten, you've forgotten, you've gotten a fragmented signal on your Pip-Boy. A coded transmission of some sort of sad, jazzy, uh, with some sort of sad, jazzy undercurrent, sorry, that makes your head hurt. As far as you can tell, it appears to be an invitation to the Midnight Science Fiction feature at the Mojave Drive-In. Please arrive early to catch the trailers. Uh, Old World Blues has been loaded, and my level cap's been raised by five. Uh, the reunion. Your pit boy has received a signal. Coordinates that lead to the canyon wreckage west of Prim. Following the coordinates are the words Courier 6. It's signed Ulysses. And Lonesome Road has been loaded. Level cap raised. Happy Trails Expedition. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast from the Happy Trails Expedition. Um, they're looking for one more member for an expedition to the Zion Valley. On it starts loaded. Level cap raised. I I think there's a few more. There's Gunrunner's Arsenal. Uh, I'm just going to have to check something as well that 
the radio is turned down. Yeah, it's fine. Now I seem I've never actually started um, in the dark before. To be honest, uh, with the ongoing conflict in the Mojave. Ah, oh, this is Gunrunners Arsenal. So the ongoing conflict in the Mojave Wasteland has kicked a weapon manufacturers into higher gear. All major and minor weapon dealers in the region are rolling in new weapons, ammunition types, and modifications. Head to your nearest participating vendor to peruse the merchandise. Gunrunners Arsenal has been loaded. And then there's one more DLC, which is a Sierra Madre Dead Money one, I think. <sighs> um, so let's have a look in here. I think there should be some smiles. And yeah, Shiny I've never started at night, so it's, there's no one here. Don't worry. <laughs> I always start during the day. Um, normally. Dark Mitchell said you could teach me about surviving the desert. Yeah. Now, I think I'm only going to do the bit that you have to do, which is go outside and Sounds shoot like all the bottles. Um, but to be outside, honest, it's not really you. worth going to kill the geckos because they're a bit annoying. Um, and it's ah, here we go. Sierra Madre Grand Opening. Your pit boy has picked up a radio broadcast inviting you to the grand opening of the Sierra Madre Casino. Dead money has been loaded. My level cap has been raised. So I think now it goes from 30 to 50 with all the four DLCs that raise your level cap. Um, yeah, yeah, can't climb under the light. Anyway, let's get out here and shoot some bottles. Uh, but then after this, I think we go to speak to the Ringo dude who's held up in there. And he like, there's a group of powder gangers, which is one of the other factions on the game. Sort of the smaller yeah. factions. They're like convicts yesterday? that take over the prison they're in or something. Um, phew, nah. Mate, this this varmin rifle is like terrible. Yeah, I was looking down. I was like, you see what I mean? She gives me a broken one. It's like, what are you doing, silly mate? Try crouching down and staying yeah. still. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah, I don't. Well, that's a start. That's a start. But I don't reckon you came to meet. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Bye. 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 Shh. Bye. 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 She's just like, go talk to that lady in the in the place, otherwise she'll get mad at me. But somehow I doubt she would, because, you know, uh, if seeing this is Joe Cobb being being that mad. Here we go. Go oh, get my friends. Well, I have a problem. Wait, no. I could have come back, come back. I just thought, you're my problem. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Trudy, don't leave and go to bed, please. Me too. <sighs> cool. We can catch her. Joe Cobb. Where's Trudy? Trudy. Trudy. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. I know, right? Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Bleh, bleh, bleh. Um, I hope you're right. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. Yeah, yeah. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes Ringo. into town. Ringo. Sounds like a cowboy. Attack, he says. Yeah, Ringo. Wildest gun in the world. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a so. place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Mm, well, I mean, if he's... Because it's odd that Cobb wasn't in the town. Cobb like that. hasn't exactly been looking for Ringo too hard. I All think right. he's afraid that Ringo will ambush him, which is probably true. Makes sense. Um, where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Q. Never mind, I want to talk about something else. Uh, show me what you've got for sale, mate. You can have. Right, normally with all these extra shiz, I don't really need it. So you can have my grenades. She's probably not going to be able to afford all my stuff. You can have my armored Vault 13 and the jumpsuit. Now I'm naked, mate. Uh, broad machete. Throwing spears. Uh, two of them. And that should just take me. I oh know, it takes me just over. It's 59 minutes. Uh, I want one of them back then. See ya. Thanks. You have only six caps, mate. <laughs> Hope no one wants to sell anything in the future. Anyway, see ya. So let's go see Ringo. See what he has to say about being chased by and by, down by Joe Cobb and the crew. Um, his band of merry men. But yeah, it seems rather odd uh, to me because, as you learn later in the game, the the caravan company sort of friends with everyone because. They deliver things, you know, they don't really do bad things, and most of them 
uh, do risky jobs as well. So, you know, if someone wants some bombs delivering or whatever, then they'll do it. Oh yeah, Ringo has to get mad at me, don't you Ringo, mate? Don't you Ringo, mate? <laughs> That's well, uh, close enough. Who are you? <coughs> my name is uh, Phil and I come in cracks. Home at cracking lol. Uh, I'm not the enemy. That's what Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard. That's well, all. well, well. We got off to a bad start. Yeah, we did. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. Uh, nah. You know how to play? Um, did you know, man? Yeah. You copy looking for you. He doesn't look very quickly. tough, though. I hear he's yeah, bad man. Doesn't look very tough, does he? No. I'm and probably gonna right. shoot your face. I'll have a much bigger face. problem once his friends show up. You know what I mean? There's no way I can handle all of them in and that fight. animatronic clips that are so good. Um, what are you gonna do about the panic I'm low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. True story. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same grave. It's just the two of us. Yeah, no. Nah. I would not like that. Some of the I'm sure they give a separate grave. Not all bad. Uh, I'll ask around and see where I can round Start up. With sunny smiles. She's been friendlier than most lately. Alright, Sunny mate. <sighs> She's probably in bed. What time is it? It's like 1.45. I always press escape to like get out of stuff. I really need to get out of the habit of doing it. Anyway, uh, this is the part where normally the you have to round everyone up. Um, and like say, oh, can you come and help me and my friends kill the bad peoples? And you need some kind of skill. Um, to convince them that you won't like waste the supplies or like Easy Pete and his dynamite, which I think you need a, an explosive Hi. skill of 25, so that's out of the question Hi for me. But you know, and he's like, ah, well, I can't trust you that you ain't gonna blow yourself up, you know. Say no more. I'm in. That was easy. Oh, Joe look, it's Cobb the option. Oh. Us alone if we hand over Ringo. Um, but I know it's tight. Yeah. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. Yeah, mate. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. No, we are not. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. Okay. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town... <sighs> I think I need the speech skill for I, that, I don't know how much speech I actually somewhere. need. Um, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Okay. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. From what I remember, stim packs just give me HP. They don't patch up any holes. I don't generally tend to get holes, but you know. I'm a little short on caps. Nah, nah, let, let's not I'll talk to her, really. She slightly annoys me. She's she's not quite as annoying as Moira in uh, Fallout 3. Who, for those of you who don't know, she's like, um... She was like uh, an owner of some kind of shop, and she made you do this wasteland survival guide thing. But she was just really patronising and really annoying. Um, seriously, if none of you have seen it, just type in Fallout 3 Moira, the annoying little twat. And I'm sure you'll find something Welcome on back. her. Hello, Doctor. Ah, so oh, well. What can I do for you? Let's have a look. Um, the town is going to be attacked by a bandit. Anything you can do to Seems help. Like wherever I go, it's always the same. No, it's a shame. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're an old man, I don't care. You got well, stories about everything, like and you haven't way. shaved that tash in a while. Scarce, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah. We get there. it. And um, who was it that rescued me? Nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk to him. You take care now. Yeah, see you later, pal. Well, hopefully that'll be the last time I'll be in there because he is well annoying. No, he's not. He's, he's pretty cool actually because he sort of healed me up and. Oh, I mean, didn't make sure I died. Didn't make sure. Made sure I didn't die. Um, so, yeah, I like him. But I don't think I'll be going back there because, uh, well, I don't. I don't know. Good Springs is a bit pointless. I mean, it's started town. I can appreciate that, but like once you get into the game, it's a little bit pointless. Because it's just a little town. Um, I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Yeah. Even got some weapon Sorry, I'm just cracking my ammo. knuckles. Well Bad cash, habit, yeah. If you're hurting for cash, <coughs> you also got a lot of section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Lol. Um need supplies to fight now the cowdergangers. Cowdergangers? Cowdergangers. 
That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Whoa, man. Well, I've got 25 barter, so sit down. I suppose that's another thing about Fallout New Vegas, is the fact that your, um, if your level isn't high enough, it just won't work. Whereas on Fallout 3, there was like a percentage. So if your level was high enough, you get 100%. But if it, if it was nearly there, you know, like one off, you get like 90% or whatever. But then if your speech was one and it required 50 speech, you get like 2%, you know, that kind of thing. Right, let's sell some Can stuff do. to this guy. He's probably got, yeah, he's got a lot of money. Um, uh, let's have a look. Weapons. Mercenary grenade rifle. Throwing spears. Probably keep the rest of them. Leather armor. Lightweight leather armor. Oh, yeah, I've got I'm walking around naked right now, aren't I? Um, bleak venom. Oh, that's not all going to go in one go. Uh, that'll do. Are we gonna use? I don't know how you use the bleak venom to properly like poison someone, but and I think that'll do. I will see what you have. I don't really want any weapons, thanks. I'll take your pre-war hat though, mate, because I bet that'll make me look like I'm swagging. Do you have any stim packs? You have 16 stim packs. I'm not gonna be able to buy that many. I will buy two. Thanks, and hopefully 10 millimeter ammo because I want to use that 10 mil gun it doesn't look like you've got any good one okay let's have a look let's buy some of these 20 gauge uh gun runners arsenal ammo special stuff and some nine mil and that'll do thank you very much i'll see you later then chatty my boy goodbye take it easy take it easy like uh, tony montana scarface is a very good film if you haven't seen it you should go watch it it's, it's quite good um, I would say that The Godfather is better and Al Pacino probably does a better job as Mikey Corleone but um, Scarface is still something to be reckoned with but of course you know The Godfather is supposedly the, the God film so you know uh, I need to go find Trudy and get her posse and stuff to follow me is she in here? Yeah. Oh no, that's easy beat. See you later, bro. You have fun sleeping there. What is this dude doing? It's like two o'clock in the morning. Um Right, so if we go in here, this should be Trudy. Uh Trudy no, no, bye. I can't be bothered. I cannot find where Trudy lives because it's like two o'clock in the morning and she's probably asleep. So let's go see Ringo and wrap this up. Ringo mates. Ringo is a red dickhead though. Just can't like fend for himself. Why doesn't he just there's a massive wasteland, right? They're gonna like follow you everywhere. The moment he has run away, okay? So all you have to do is go out like the back window and he's not be able to see you, right? Because they don't know you're in here, okay? So you just go out the back window and then like run up that hill and then just keep on running and they aren't going to know where you are, you just lie low. You ever see them again, you so make some friends on? along the way and Sonny you just kill them. To help us? Uh, Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Yeah. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Uh, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Yeah. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. Cool. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Well, I'm I'll be set up near the store. sure they are Let's pretty mean. The They're here to kill all everyone. Right. So before we uh, head out, I'm going to call it here. This is going to be the end of our introductory episode of Fallout New Vegas. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, if there is anything you would like me to do in future videos, then be sure to leave a comment. If you've enjoyed it that much, then leave a like. Uh, and of course, subscribe for more content like this. You can also go and stalk us on the Facebooks and the Twitters. There'll be a little bit more uh, sort of information about videos on there, like when they're getting uploaded, any channel events, that kind of thing. Um, and also go check out the other videos by the other four guys on the channel, Alex, Jake, Ollie, and James. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.